Hello everyone and welcome back to another A Massive Chess Game by the Magician from Riga, Mikhail Tal. And in this chess game he has the white pieces and his opponent is always Vitolinch, the 7 times Latvian chess champion. A tough cookie. So in this chess game Mikhail Tal as I said has the white pieces and this chess game happened in 1986 in Riga. So this is a must see chess game by Mikhail Tal and he starts the game with pushing the e-pawn, we have d6, d4, knight to f6 and black is playing the priest defense, knight to c3, g6 and Mikhail Tal push the f-pawn and this is the popular Austrian attack against the priest defense, bishop to g7, knight up, black castled, bishop to d3, c5, exchanging the pawns and pushing the pawn, knight to d5, exchanging and queen to e2 knight up so both players are playing some normal developing moves black is checking the king and also black is defending the c pawn and then black is sacrificing the b pawn for the quick activity bishop takes on b5 developing the bishop and michael tal castled asking a question bishop goes back e6 queen over targeting the c pawn and then rook over centralizing the rook knight back, rook in, and forking the bishop and the knight. But now bishop to d5, and if capturing the knight, then bishop takes bishop, if capturing the bishop, then knight takes, knight takes bishop. So, bishop back, and then capturing the knight, and Mikhail Tal captured the knight with the rook. Rook takes on e7. And then bishop goes back, and this is attacking the rook. Where is the rook going? Well, in this position, if you defend the rook, if something like rook to d7, then bishop goes back, attacking the rook, and it looks like the rook is trapped. So, what would you do in this position? Well, before losing the rook, in between move, Mikhail Tal sacrificed the exchange. Rook takes on f7. What a shot. King takes on f7, and then queen takes on c4. And Vitolish pushed the pawn, attacking the bishop. Well, maybe in this position defending the bishop comes to mind, but Mikhail Tal is not defending anything and he is keep moving forward. f5 by Tal. We have king to g8. Of course, we are going to check out what happens if capturing the bishop, then f takes on g6. Only move. Not, not the only move, but black is getting checkmated. There is no sensible defense. If uh, let's say king to g8 then this is check and again black is getting checkmated there is no escape you can run but you can't hide this is what uh, famous joe lewis said once in 1950s i believe in 1940s maybe not 50s he said to his opponent max schmeling you can run but you can't hide so King to g8 is not working, as you know. If king to e7, this is interesting because we have check. It looks like the king is escaping, but now the nightmare bishop appears. Bishop to g5, only defense, capturing, check, mate. Again, black is getting checkmated and there is no defense. This is why Mikhail Tal pushed the pawn and we have king to g8, escaping. Not the best move, but when you're under pressure, uh, playing the best moves is not easy, so in this position, actually capturing the pawn is a possibility. And then bishop takes is also a possibility for white, because if rook takes, then we have queen takes rook. Okay, so maybe Mikhail Tal was also hoping to capture the pawn, bishop takes on f5. If capturing, queen takes on f5, and as you can see, defending is not so easy in this position, white has a monster attack and black is in trouble. So maybe Mikhail Tal was planning to sacrifice the bishop anyway. So king to g8 and then Mikhail Tal goes all the way. f takes on g6, bishop to g7. Well, if capturing, then check and then checkmate. There is no defense and black is getting checkmated. So f takes on g6, developing the bishop, 
and not allowing queen check and then checkmate. But no. Bishop takes on c4 by Mikhail Tull and targeting the e pawn, and there is no sensible defense in this position. We have rook to f8, but again, if capturing the bishop, then this is losing the rook. And shortly, black is going to get checkmated. So, in this position, we have rook to f8, and Mikhail Tull captured the pawn, bishop takes on e6. Uh, you might ask what happens if rook to e8, then simply bishop takes on e6 again, if capturing the bishop, then capturing the rook. Uh, this is not working. If king to h8, what happens then? Then queen to h5, and how to defend the checkmate threat? Black is going to get checkmated, and there is no sensible defense. Uh, okay, so let's take it back. After bishop takes on c4, we have rook to f8 and Mikhail Tal captured the pawn. Bishop takes on e6, only move. And then here comes another bone crushing move by Mikhail Tal. What would you do? Of course, after the previous variation that I demonstrated, it should be easy. Mikhail Tal played queen to h5, and this is game over for black. Another exciting, smashing, crashing chess game by Mikhail Tull, the magician from Riga. The possible continuation is like this. Actually, Black didn't resign, but after playing few moves, he resigned. So after king to g1, Black resigned. Uh, because there is no more checks, uh, there is no sensible defense in this position. You can play rook to f1 check, king takes rook. And that's all over. So let's see the possible continuation. If pushing the h pawn for the defense, which looks like the only defense, then okay. So in this position, of course, Mikhail Tal is threatening checkmate. Queen takes on h7. So if pushing the pawn, then bank. Bishop takes on h6. If bishop takes bishop, queen takes bishop, and then checkmate. So queen back, but no double check, checkmate. There is no defense, and black is getting checkmated. What an incredible chess game by the magician from Riga, by Mikhail Tull. So, thank you very much for watching, and I hope to see you next time. Take care, and bye-bye.